So swipe bucket is also great when you want to capture things on the fly. Like if you saw something really, really interesting and you want to capture it with a screenshot, it's really easy to do so. And you can um, do this with the Chrome extension itself as well. So for example, if we are in social media like Facebook and you want to capture something really quick, right? So you can easily do so. And let's see if we want to grab something like this nice thumbnail. So we can easily do so by either selecting the full page screenshot. So that's something you can do as well, or just a region screenshot. And you can then just drag the area you want to save. So for example, this, and you can select your bucket you want to put it in. So let's do a default bucket. You can also do um, a tag. So for example, webinar, and then say swipe it. And there you go. So if you go and view the post into the default bucket, you will see that you now have this screenshot, as you can see, and you know exactly where it comes from. So you will see the, uh, the group or the page it comes from and which platform it is taken. So in this example, it's Facebook. So if you press it, you will get a, a little bit of an enlargement and you will see that this is exactly where it took the screenshot. And you can even go to the website because it also copied the exact same point, uh, the exact URL of the website. So if we go there, you'll see that it goes to the correct group where we took that screenshot. And we're back in the pitch ground group. So taking screenshots on the fly, if you see something that is really, really important for you, or you want to take note and take a look at it later, you can easily do so with Swipe Bucket.